The Goat House is back after Monday Night Flag Fest, breaking down how I think every team played in week six. Got tiers for every single NFL team, including grades like we do every single Monday night. Let's take a look at what I got. Starting with that Panthers tier, the Panthers are not in it. So maybe they have a chance to completely remove the Panthers tier next week, depending on how they play and other teams play. But we gave them that chance against the Bears last week, and they kind of blew it. But uh, they don't make their own tier. That's great. The Jaguars, of course, do. Who played the Bears got destroyed in London. Just looked super sloppy. Looked like guys gave up. Just a brutal outing. I can't believe that defense is as bad as it is. Uh, just very unfortunate. They'll play in London again. I mean, could be named the Jaguars tier here if they lose the Patriots in London this week. But Cowboys get absolutely obliterated by the Lions. Never had a chance. Just could, had no chance to stop the Lions. They could do whatever they want. They were messing around even you know, towards the end. It was just, it felt free for Detroit. And the Cardinals, maybe not quite as embarrassing as the Jags and Cowboys, but in the Jags' defense, it did not feel like that game was over right away. The Cardinals... It, def it felt like that game was over right away. It felt like the Packers put put it away pretty early, so that was the disappointing part. The Cardinals are super inconsistent. One week looked pretty good, one week awful, so um, not great to see a couple teams that sh all teams in the Panthers tier should be pretty solid. They're not right now. They're in the Panthers tier. The D tier, the Broncos, yeah, they came back and made the score look a little closer, but that was all in the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, the Chargers were kind of coasting to the end there, just trying to drain clock. This game was over pretty early. They had completely outplayed the Broncos in this game. And it, when watching these two teams that are going to play again, it just I kept saying like it just looks like the chart. And two teams that are supposed to be fairly even in, in terms of yeah talent, how they've been playing recently, and play style. It just kind of felt like the Chargers were far better uh, while having the same play style. So that was kind of my takeaway from that one. We'll see if that stays true throughout the year. Uh, and the Saints, yeah, they kind of got close for a little bit, but. That was the second worst performance from a Saints defense in franchise history in terms of yardage. So defense was that bad. They couldn't stop the run for some reason, uh, even without Rashad White in there. Uh, you know, Bucky Irving and Sean Tucker running all over him. So that was shocking, and they started to turn the ball over as well. And then the Raiders, I mean, this game didn't have to be this bad. They could have been in that Steelers game, but very sloppy play even around the goal line kind of resulted in them getting beat up a little bit there. So it didn't have to be that bad, but it – it ended up being pretty bad, so they find themselves in the D tier. Quite a few teams in the C tier. The Seahawks kind of on the upper end of this. They did come back, and they look, did look pretty decent in the second half, I suppose. But, yeah, they dug themselves a hole, and the offense isn't the same. Geno's not the same as the early, early in the year. The offensive line's not the same. The defense isn't the same. So, uh, just don't look as organized either. So, a little sloppy for them on Thursday Night Football. Got outplayed by the Niners. The Browns, yeah, the defense played very well, and they, they kept it close with the Eagles. They were able to convert their downs finally as this game went on and move the ball. Just once again, they fell short. Once again, Watson was not good. Once again, the offensive line wasn't good. Uh, the Giants had a chance against the Bengals. Yeah, I love the defensive line of the Giants, which makes the defense good. It's playing better and better. So they are a threat to anybody because of that defensive line and that defense, but so I almost put them in the BC tier, BC tier based on how they play de defense against the Bengals, but everybody has been scoring on the Bengals. Everybody, and the Giants couldn't do it. They let their defense down, and the kicking was brutal too. So they find themselves in the C tier because that offense should – I mean, they moved the ball too. So, I mean, Tracy had a good game. It's it just – man – the defense played well. It's just it's it's got to be painful that one because the defense played well, stopped the Bengals, and you're the first team that can't move the ball on the Bengals enough. I guess they did move the ball a little bit, but that's pretty tough. Titans, you can argue, outplayed the Colts for a portion of that game. They for some reason didn't continue to run the ball while that was free for them against that Colts run defense. They put the game in Levis's hands a little too much, and he was bad once again. The play calling was just as bad. Uh, but again, they felt like they're out playing the Colts for for a bit there. Defense did their part for most of this game. The running game did as well. So it wasn't awful, but if you can't win that game, if you can't put that game away, I don't know which ones you're going to win. Panthers, I mean, this was a game through three quarters. or you know, In the third quarter, they're going, this is a ball game. Panthers have a shot. The Falcons did have a step on them throughout this whole game, and they did outplay them, but the offense was there for Carolina, so it wasn't any worse than a C. And the Patriots, I considered D because the game did kind of feel over, even though they were back in it, and then they, the ending score wasn't great. But the offense showed explosive ability with Drake May in there. So it's it's good signs going forward, but it also 
yeah, there was something we haven't seen all year in this game with the explosive playmaking or explosive plays, you know, big chunk plays. You know, and at times, like, are they in this game? So it's just something we haven't seen from the Patriots. So I'll put them in the C tier because of that offense. And I'm excited about Drake May. He's going to be a little sloppy, turn the ball over a little bit here and there, but he's going to make some big plays, especially as he's as he gets more comfortable. I'm very confident with him in the future of the Patriots, even if there's some slip-ups this year. The BC tier, starting with the Bengals, who pulled off a win against the Giants, and the defense was solid, right? The defense was way better than expected. They did, did give up some yards. The Giants were moving the ball a little bit, but they, you know, did did very well on their end of the field there, which, uh, you know, held the Giants to just seven points, which was impressive. The offense was a big-time letdown, so it was a weird game. Um, you know, overall, decent outing. The Eagles, tricky one because the defense played pretty well as it should against the Browns. The offense made plays when they needed to, and they had, they had control of this game, even though it was a little sketchy at times. So I thought about putting them in the B tier because, you know, those reasons. The defense played well. And they made plays when they needed to, but they did rely on those big plays. They relied on AJ Brown a little bit. Um, you know, if they didn't have him once again, I think they would. I think they might have lost this game. So, still looking for that offense to fully get going. They kind of relied on some things, but overall, won the game. Defense played very well. The Colts, uh, good first drive, and they ended the game very well. Uh, defense clutched up. Pass defense was much better than it has been this year. Run defense still a problem. There was a good portion of this game where the Titans outplayed the Colts. If the Titans kept running the ball, they probably would have won this game. So for some reason, they didn't do that. They put it in Levis' hands, and the Colts made them pay. But they had a clutch drive. They had some clutch drives at the end of the game there. So pulling off a big division victory. And the Commanders put up a good fight with the Ravens. Uh, you know, kind of, I don't want to say back and forth, but it was the Ravens get a lead, and the Commanders kind of stick back in it. They were very clutch again. They moved the ball on offense. Made some plays on defense. You know, the Ravens were kind of slipping up a little bit, which maybe – resulted in the game being a little closer than it could have been, but the Commanders are capable of being close to the Ravens, just how the game went. Uh, but overall, you know, a loss, but a, a decent outing for the Commanders who've been a uh, pleasant surprise this year so far. The B tier, the Buffalo Bills just wrapped up a victory against the Jets in Monday Night Football, which was a weird game, mainly because all the penalties are ridiculous amount. But, I mean, the Jets really moved the ball on the Bills, and it felt like you could argue they outplayed them slightly. You could argue that, but at the same time, Josh Allen was out of his mind. I thought that he played an incredible game. Ray Davis was was awesome, and they were making plays. So whoever lost that game, it was like, man, you, you played pretty damn well. Not great, but pretty damn well and made these crazy plays. How do you not win that game? But the Bills end up finding a way to win. They got pressure on Rodgers, and they made clutch plays, Josh Allen including, you know, mainly making clutch plays when they needed to. So they're on the higher end of this. The Falcons, too. Uh, really good offense outing once again. Defense was clutch at the end. But, yeah, go through most of, you know, mostly three quarters, you're going like, this is still a game. That, I know the Falcons outplayed the Panthers, but it was kind of a game. Like, the Panthers had a shot there. So, um, maybe to get an A, you know, put them away a little earlier, play a little bit more of an A outing. It was more of like a B-plus outing for me. The Niners, yeah, they have an issue allowing comebacks right now, especially against division rivals. So it got a little scary at the end there, but they did outplay the Seahawks. But it's the same thing. They outplayed the Rams. They outplayed the Cardinals. They outplayed the Seahawks more in this game than they did those games. And they lost those games. They almost let it happen, somewhat almost let it happen again. Um, so that's an issue. But overall, looked really good. If it kind of kept going how it was going in the first half, then they probably would have been in the A or the best tier, to be honest. And the Jets, I mean, it's a tough one. Uh, you have to grade them as a B because they played very well. I mean, Rodgers threw the ball, lights out, some incredible throws. They did have the Hail Mary, so a little lucky on that part. But they did outgain the Bills for a majority of this game. Uh, you know, they, they I mean, that's as much as you can ask from that offense. I mean, you're not going to get much more against a really good team in the Bills. No one's been able to throw on the Bills like that, especially when Rodgers has been being pressured. I mean, w w Brees Hall was awesome. You should be able to run the Bills, but they're effective there. I didn't have anything really wrong with the play calling. The defense was slipping up against the run uh, for the most part, allowing like these big, you know, clutch explosive plays as well. But yeah, the run defense is the weakness. It's not a major weakness in this game. It was, they were letting Ray Davis kind of move on them. But overall, like there was really good things. You can't really ask for, for too much more in a game like this from the offense and they lost, uh, you know, so it's tough. I mean, they're, how they played still pretty good. You know, so you got to give them a B. They po possibly played well enough to win that game. I guess it's debatable, on who deserved it more. I mean, the Bills end up winning. The Jets did have a Hail Mary at the end of the first half. But, you know, so you get a B for that performance. But like I said, it's kind of like a gut punch. 
on that because it's like, God, it's as good as you can play possibly in a game like that, and you can't find a way to win, so it's tough. And it was sloppy. At the same time, them being good, it was sloppy at times with the penalties and um, just little mess-ups there. Even the defense is a little sloppy they were in past weeks. Maybe that's without Salah, who is a good defensive mind. So, uh, it's just interesting game for, for several reasons there. But both teams find themselves in the B range. So the, B, the Bills, the B+, plus, the Jets, the B- minus uh, uh, end of it there. A tier, the Texans handle the Patriots as they should. It felt like they could have put them away a little bit better at a certain point, but they finally did at the end there. But the whole way, I kind of felt like they were going to win this game. They got Mixon back. He got going. It's really good to see they take care of business. Big win. Chargers. Uh, yeah, they let the Broncos kind of get back in it, but it felt like they had it. They were coasting the victory a little bit. Wasn't really too scary for them. They had this game put away. It felt like early. Now, again, that was my takeaway from this game. Watching these two teams around the same, you know, rank, if you will, of the season, you know, of NFL teams this year on the season, and they both play the same brand of football. And when watch this game, the Chargers, that's their brand of football. They play a, a bit better. I thought it was quite clear. So that's pretty good. Pretty good to have a takeaway like that if you're the Chargers. The Ravens. They were a little sloppy, to be honest, at the same time of being really, really good. I mean, even though the defense wasn't great, they, they stepped up in some key moments with the offense, moved the ball with, with ease. But, you know, if there wasn't for some little sloppy things, especially early, they probably would have put this game away early and won a little more comfortably. So we've seen that from the Ravens a little bit this year. But they played a red-hot, really good Washington Commanders team and, and found victory. Steelers were clutching this game. Defense, once again, good. Uh, offense putting some points up on the board. Yeah, they got some help from the defense, but that's all right, um, you know. It's good to see them mainly putting the points up on the board and getting a big win there. Buccaneers, it got a little scary for a little bit, but then they were clutch. I mean, scoring 51 points on a really good Saints defense is going to put you at, in, in the A range, but it was a little scary for a little bit there, but they figured it out. Created turnovers, and they were moving the ball with ease, again, against a pretty damn good defense there, so impressive from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the best tier, the A-plus, the perfect tier, is all NFC North minus the Vikings who are on a bye uh, the Lions obliterated the Cowboys. I mean, the way they were, how easy they were moving that ball was just ridiculous. It was whatever they want to do, they're going to do it. And it's going to be very easy. And the defense just shutting down. I mean, it's still an explosive offense, just shutting them down. Uh, Brian Branch making ridiculous plays. I mean, it was just very sad and unfortunate that Hutchinson went down. But it looks like the best offense in football and easily a top three team in football. The Bears are getting better and better. They dominate the Jags. The offense showing life the last couple weeks. The offensive line actually looked really good, which was some. there was some complaints about that. There was some complaints about Shane Waldron earlier in the year and some complaints about Caleb Williams. And not too many complaints about Caleb Williams. Everyone kind of knew he's a rookie and starting. But all those things, I, I don't want to say like completely fixed because you know we want to see him play good, some better teams. But look good right now. Everything looks a lot better. It's for sure improved no matter who they are playing. The defense is probably the best in football. I mean, I, I would definitely make a strong case, case of the best in football. Uh, they could be locked down and they also can create turnovers. Sometimes that's kind of rare. Like sometimes you have the teams that are like locked shut down defenses and you have teams that are good defenses because they create turnovers and they give up big plays. But the Bears are kind of a mixture of both. And that's probably why I put them at the top in terms of defenses. Uh, you know, and then Swift was another guy too that's really getting going as of late. So it's just really good looks from the Bears. And the Packers look really good at home there playing. I know the Cardinals are inconsistent, but sometimes they look like a threat. Like they're a really good team. The Packers had this game over right away. They can win in so many different ways. You see the defense back in action with Alexander back out there. And you're seeing how good they can be, especially at home. Jordan Love was awesome. That back shoulder lob, you know, that people look at it different ways. You can look at it like very lucky. I feel like he meant to do that. Uh, maybe not that much air, but I thought I thought that was just a, that, that was a ridiculous play by him. So, uh, really good outing for the NFC North. They're all, and they needed that with the Vikings sitting up there undefeated. They needed to keep going, and it's just not much at all separating these teams. And it's been very fun to watch. And we'll see uh, finally uh, two of those teams take uh, play each other this week: the Lions and the Vikings, the top teams there. So, um, top teams at least right now. But uh, there you have it: how I grade and tier each team for Week Six. And it's not power rankings. Power rankings are the next video, and then we'll have our weekly pick show. Uh, after that but we are back every monday with this video grading and tiering teams based on how they played in that week so hopefully you join us but that will wrap this one up thanks everyone for watching goodbye